kings and queens it's your girl kayla Doris. if you're new to my channel welcome if you're returning what's good happy wealth wednesday people before we jump into this video guys i just want to say thank you for showing my channel so much love i've received some good feedback over the past six months six whole months of me having this channel so i just want to say thank you guys i love all of the feedback and i really appreciate you so thank you for subscribing thank you for liking commenting if you've ever shared anything i so appreciate it all right guys so today's video is all about my top 10 tips for becoming debt free now obviously before we start i just want to put it out there that i am not a financial advisor anything that i speak on is solely based on my own personal experience and or research let's jump into the tips don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below tap that notification bell so that you don't miss any wealth wednesdays all right guys so i just want to start by saying that this list and my top 10 tips are not in any particular order they are all equally important to me so i'm just giving you guys the tips in a random order tip number one is to create and maintain multiple streams of income i know i've talked about this before in like my side hustles video um why it's important to have side hustles things like that but creating multiple streams of income really does set you up for financial freedom when you're not solely depending on one source of income then that allows you to have a little more wiggle room within your budget. Tip number two is to create an emergency fund that is totally separate from your regular savings account. So for your emergency fund, you want to only use it for just that, just emergencies, things like car repair. Um, if you have to have something done to your house, you call a plumber out, things like that, something that is an absolute emergency. That way you have some money set aside and you're not actually tapping into your regular savings. Tip number three is to actually refrain from accumulating more debt. So try your best to stay away from more credit cards if you're trying to pay your credit cards down. You don't wanna open those other accounts which would negatively affect your credit score. If you're still in the process of trying to pay what cards you have down. so. Don't create more debt for yourself because that's just going to take you even longer to get out of that hole. Tip number four is to actually write down and document your debt. So in order to know what kind of goals you need to set for yourself, the type of timeline you want to set for yourself to becoming debt free, you have to know exactly what your debts are. So writing those down by name, company, how much you owe, um, the actual deadline, if they've given you a deadline, and if you've given yourself a deadline for it. So write it out so that you can see it, and it's a real number, and it's something that you know that you're working towards. Along with that, I would say my next tip is to actually develop a plan. You have to develop a repayment plan for whatever debt that you have. So if you only have school loans as your debt, and you know that you owe $17,500, you want to actually write out a plan for how you're going to pay that off and in what time frame will you pay that off. Tip number six is to create a budget. I know I've spoken about budgeting a ton of times on this channel and I will link um, one of my budget videos above. However, creating a budget that is individualized to your particular income is so important. You can't go based off of what you've seen someone else do, what their goals was, and you doing that because your income may not be the same, you may have more streams of income than you, you may be living off of just one. So you have to create a budget that is unique to your financial reality and not someone else's. Tip number seven is to pace yourself. You don't wanna give yourself unrealistic goals and then be stressed because you're actually trying to pay off something that is not really attainable. Um, so pace yourself, know what your income is, know what your budget is, and then make your plan, your repayment plan based off of that. Give yourself time, give yourself some grace if you're not able to reach it as quickly as you want to. As long as you're actively working towards paying those debts off, then you're doing something right. Tip number eight is to actually keep your credit card at a zero balance. What I mean by this is obviously if you use your credit card, try to only use it for things that you know you have that money in your checking account just so you can pay it off immediately. Um, that is probably the biggest thing that has helped me with having a credit card is that I don't use it for one unless I'm using it for 
things that I know I can get the cash back option for, which would be like groceries, um, restaurants, gas, things like that. I have they have a cash back option for. Therefore, I know that I'm earning something while I'm using it. I also don't spend so much on it to where I can't pay that off immediately. I try not to spend more than what's actually in my checking account. That way I can pay it off immediately, keep my balance at zero. It just looks so much better doing that versus only paying like the minimum balance due when your credit card is due. So take that into consideration. Maybe you're not able to keep it at totally zero, but as long as you can pay off more than what the minimum balance is, it should be helpful. Tip number nine is to actually eliminate potential debtors. That means don't go taking out loans if you don't actually have to have it. Um, don't get another credit card like I mentioned earlier. But for this particular tip, I mean like, you know, bank loans and car loans and home loans and things like that. If you're trying to work yourself out of debt, if you can put those things on hold for just a moment, then that is more ideal because when you do go and apply for you know, a loan of any sort, that's gonna set you back. So if you can put those things on hold while you pay off everything else, then maybe when you're in a better position financially, then you can reevaluate um, moving forward if you actually need that financial loan. And my final tip, tip number 10, is to try your best to live on 70% or less of your take-home income. This allows you to, one, have that 30% left over where you can either invest it, you can put it into your savings, you can add some into your emergency fund, whatever you need to do for that 30%. But for the 70%, you're covering your bills, you're covering your day-to-day -day expenses, you're covering anything that just basically comes up. Um, but of course, you have that emergency fund if it's actually something that will cost a lot. Now, ideally, we want to be able to use 70% or less for our spending. Um, however, everyone's finances is not set up that way. As long as you're not using 100% of your income every single pay period, then you should be actually making some headway and getting ahead and working towards becoming debt free. Now, I know that if you only have, you know, low income paying jobs or a lot of debt, it may seem super overwhelming. It may seem like you're never going to get out of it. However, with the appropriate planning, the appropriate budget, mindset is everything. So even if you don't see the finances, if you really believe that if you put your mind to something and you can save that money, you can invest that money, you can do right by what your income is, then you're well on your way to financial freedom. It all starts honestly with the mentality because it's gonna seem like it's impossible, but you can do it. Everybody can do it. It just takes a lot of discipline. It takes some math, cause you know, you gotta figure out exactly what your budget is, how much you can spend, where you can spend it. Um, but more than anything, it takes a positive mindset and discipline. Guys, if this video was helpful for you at all, please let me know in the comment section down below. Give me some feedback. I absolutely love hearing from you guys. Also, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. And I will see you back for the next Wealth Wednesday.